everybody, it's Tammy, TJ's Kids here. I'm back with my October Diamond Dies card exchange. These are my cards that I made for my partner. My partner is Jessica. Hi Jessica, I hope you like your cards. I'm just going to jump right in and very quickly explain what I did. Since it's October and I love Halloween, I chose to do two variations of Halloween cards. I hope you're okay with that, Jessica. I know some people don't celebrate Halloween, so I tried to not make them too spooky ooky. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I did and which dies I used. My first one I did here was an inspired from Pinterest again. This is a Frankenstein card. And my Frankenstein was made using the labels one die and his hair was also cut from a labels one and then his eyes and his nose were done using the circles and then his little bolts that come out from the side of them this one's a cute one I used the rolling pin and then I just cut the little handles off and you got these little nubs sticking out on the ends. And then the circle down here is from the circle die. And then I stamped a spider web in there and a spider. And then I also cut another label here and stamped Happy Halloween on it here. And then I put some black enamel dots here and just some gray card in the back here. And I used some Viva decor silver around the edges here and that's what I used on his bolts here and then the inside is just some gray card and then I always finish my cards off with a the diamond dies card exchange in the month on the back and that one was just kind of plain and simple and I wanted to do another one that wasn't so plain and simple so I'm including both cards in my exchange for Jessica so this card is what they call a fun fold card so this card I created a belly band to keep it shut so this card I used two of the diamond dies on this card I used the Halloween candy or just the candy die this was from not this year's Halloween release but last year's and the labels one die on this one so on the belly band here I double stacked the labels one and I used one of these little recollection glitter embellishments that say trick or treat and this belly band comes right off and on the front here you'll see I got lots of candies I trimmed this candy down to make it look like a gumball. Oh, actually I used three dies because this is a circle. This was actually a leftover eyeball that I transformed into a gumball. And then we got some candies on the front here. And this card opens up. Let's see if I can, there we go, we'll lay it down. So you can see and it opens up like so and then I stamp these cute little unity stamps these are just little unity stamps that I got uh, about a month or so ago when they were having a great sale on unity for a dollar each this little spooky spider and this little crazy bat and this little fun Frankenstein and then I just added googly eyes to them all and this is the candy corn from the diamond eyes set and I just paper pieced it together and added some googly eyes to it and a little I drew hand drew and a little smiley face and then it's blank on the inside for her to add whatever she chooses and it just opens up and it will stand so it could be displayed if you choose and I just had tons of fun making this card and then on the back again I add my little label with the diamond dies card exchange 
So those are my two cards for this month's exchange. And these are on their way to Jessica in the mail as we speak. Or she should have already gotten them. Sorry, we post these after the exchange, after the partners have gotten them. And we do this every month on the Diamond Eyes Facebook Facebook group. I will put all the information in the link down below if you want to check it out. Come join us. We'd love to have some people come and join along. It's tons of fun. You get cards from your swap partner. You get to learn all kinds of new, fun, creative things. All you need to participate is one die. You need to use at least one die on your card. Come check us out. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.